G'day everyone, my name is Matt, and in this video and over a number of videos to follow it, we're going to be talking about how fire works. Now, traditionally, when we're talking about how fire works, you'll go and Google it and you'll come up with a phrase that looks a little bit like this. A process in which substances combine chemically with oxygen from the air and typically give out a bright light, heat and smoke. Now, while that might be technically correct, that's not particularly useful to us as firefighters or anybody that just has a general interest in fire. So in this video, we're gonna take a really basic look at what fire actually is. And to do that, we're gonna need some fire. Um, actually, yeah, come with me. All right, so now we have our fire. And while it might just be a candle, the lessons that we can learn from a candle burning can also be applied to much larger fires. So here we're looking at a combination of three different elements. We're looking at a combination of heat, fuel, and oxygen and they're all combining together to form fire as we know it. But it's not just those three elements that we need. We also need a chemical reaction to occur between the three. And it's the addition of that chemical reaction that we refer to as the fire tetrahedron. To get that the chemical reaction, we need each of these elements to be in the correct proportions so that they can allow combustion to occur. Firstly, let's have a look at fuel. The fuel in this picture is the wax itself and it's a type of wax known as paraffin wax, and it's a combination of hydrogen and carbon, also known as a hydrocarbon. Now, for the wax to be flammable, it needs to be turned into a gas, because we know that it's not actually solid objects that are burning in a flame, it's the flammable gases that are emitted from them. So, for the wax to become flammable, it needs to be turned into a gas first, and that happens by a process called pyrolysis. And we'll talk about pyrolysis more in a later video. But for now, you just need to know that the, the wax gets heated and through a process called pyrolysis, it's turned into a flammable gas that then makes it available for the fire to burn. The second element that we'll be talking about is oxygen. Now the oxygen for this fire comes from the air that we breathe. We know that in any normal atmosphere, there's around about 20.9% oxygen in the air. And this is what's allowing the fire to sustain combustion. Now the final element of their fire triangle is the actual heat itself. Now the heat can come from two sources. Firstly, being a piloted ignition like I've done here is basically lit my candle with a match, or it can be done by spontaneous combustion, which can be reached by certain temperatures or through other chemical or biological means. Now to demonstrate here that it's actually the gases that are burning, what I'm gonna do is blow the candle out, and then I'm gonna to attempt to relight the gases that are emitted from the candle. And you should see that the flame will actually travel back down through the smoke column. All right, and the candle is out, and I move the match in, and when I slow it right down, you'll see that as soon as it touches, the candle relights, and the flame actually travels down through that smoke column. And this really clearly demonstrates that the smoke itself is what's burning, and that smoke is actually a really flammable element. Okay, so now we know that fire is actually a combination of three different elements, being heat, fuel, and oxygen. And it's the chemical reaction between those three elements that gives us fire as we know it. In the next episode, we're gonna be talking more about pyrolysis and talking about how we actually get our fuels from a solid state into a gas. And in doing so, we're gonna be talking about how our fuels actually affect our fire's behavior and how we can start to read a little bit more into our fire's behaviour and start to determine what's going to be happening next with, say, structure fires and those kinds of things. Alright, thanks for watching.